it's Olivia. I hope you're having a happy and healthy day. For today's video, we are going to be going over some of the common tools that are used in a hospital during exams and checkups. So I am a nurse extern in the pediatrics unit, so I use a lot of these myself on a daily basis. I just want to get you guys familiar with these things, what they're called, what they do, and the most important part is to not be scared of any of them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is a stethoscope. You guys are probably very familiar with this. What we do with this is we put these in our ears and we are able to listen to different parts of your body. Most commonly, we will listen to your heart, we'll listen to your lungs, and we do that on the back and the front of you, and we also can listen to your bowel sounds and your belly. And uh, this is called the bell of the stethoscope. There's two sides to it. We can actually listen with both sides. And the worst thing about the stethoscope is that when we put it on your skin, it's a little cold sometimes if we don't warm it up in our hands. So that is the stethoscope. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the reflex hammer. This is usually used in a clinic setting. And what this is for is we usually will tap you right below your knees with that to see if your foot jumps up to see if you have a reflex. Um, this doesn't hurt either. It kind of tickles um, some kids a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to show you is actually a tongue depressor. Now, we don't use these a whole lot, um, but if we do, they are just a wooden stick, that's all, and we stick it on your tongue, and we tell you to say, ah, and that's if we need to look in the back of your throat, or do some kind of strep swab or something like that, but they are not too often used. The next thing I'm going to show you is called an otoscope and um, they look a little bit bigger at the doctor. This is a home otoscope, and um, there's uh, different nozzles that we can put on them, and this is the thing that we look in your ears with and we look up your nose with. There's actually a bright light on the inside of it, if you can see here, and also we can take that cap off and we can use this to look in your eyes as well. So that is an otoscope, and basically it's just a flashlight. The next thing I have is a thermometer. So this is the metal end, and this is actually a digital thermometer. You might even have one of these at home, but uh, we can check them several different ways. We can put it under your tongue, or we can check it axillary and put it under your arm. And we also have temporal ones, and um, that is the thing that just scans across your head and down your face. And um, they all check temperature a similar way and um, usually we use the temporal ones in the pediatric units. The next thing I'm going to show you is a blood pressure cuff. So there are several parts to this. You have your um, meter, which is where we can measure your blood pressure. And we also have this bulb, which is where we pump it up. You can probably hear it. And then there's a little knob right here. We can just turn and let all the air out. So what we do with this is we just wrap it around your arm and it Velcros and we just pump it up. And all it's doing is basically squeezing your arm, nothing else. It's just squeezing and then we look at it, check your blood pressure, and then we can take it off. The last thing I have for you today is an alcohol pad. Uh, we use these a lot for IVs, shots, or any other sterile procedures that we have to do. And they just open like this. And the only thing that's inside of them is a little tiny wet wipe. And they do smell strongly, um, but all we do with these is whatever we need to clean, we just rub it on there. And that's it. It's just like a baby wipe, more or less, and the smell is a little off-putting, but that's just to clean your skin and make sure whatever we are about to do um, isn't going to put you at risk for any kind of infection. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed that video and learned a little bit about the normal things we use to check you out of the doctor. I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day.